Hello and welcome to the Bible of Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. And today we're going to be covering Job 3 through 4 and Acts 7, 44 through 60. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation in a smooth reading of your word, so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Job speaks. Job 3. After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. He said, May the day of my birth perish, and the night that said a boy is conceived. That day may it turn to darkness. May God above not care about it. May no light shine on it. May gloom and utter darkness claim it once more, and may a cloud settle over it, may blackness overwhelm it, that night may thick darkness seize it, may it not be included among the days of the year, nor be entered in any months, and may the, uh, that night be barren, may no shout of joy be heard in it, may those who curse days curse that day, and those who are ready to rouse the Leviathan, may its morning star become dark, may it wait for daylight in vain, and not see the first rays of dawn, for it did not sh shut the doors of the womb on me, for to hide trouble from my eyes, why did I not perish at birth, and die as I came from the womb? Why were the, their knees uh, to receive me, and beasts that I might be nursed? For now I would be lying down in peace, and I would be asleep and at rest. With kings and rulers of the earth, who built for themselves palaces, now lying in ruins. With princes who had gold, who filled their houses with silver, Oh, or why was I not hidden away in the ground like a stillborn child, like an infant who never saw the light of day? And there the wicked cases form, form uh, and turmoil, and there the weary are at rest. Conceptives also enjoy the, their eases. No longer hear the slave drivers shout. The small and the great are there, and the slaves are freed from their owners. Why is light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul, to those who long for death and that does not come, who search for it more than for hidden treasures, who are filled with gladness, and rejoice when they reach the grave. Why is life given to a man who, whose way is hidden from God, has uh, hedged in, whom God has hedged in, for sign, uh, singing has become my daily food, and my groans tore out like water. What I feared has come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. I have no place, no quietness. I have no rest, but only turmoil. Eliphaz, Job 4. Then Eliphaz the Tamanite replied, If someone ventures a word with you, Will you be impatient? But who can keep from speaking? Think how you have instructed many who have, who you have strengthened feeble hands. Your words have supported those who stumble. You have strengthened faltering knees. But now trouble comes to you and you are discouraged. It strikes you, and you are dismayed. Should not your petty 
uh, pity be your confidence and your blameless ways, your hope. Consider now who, being innocent, has ever perished, and there, where, where, and where were the upright ever to and when, and where, for, where were the upright ever destroyed? As I have observed, those who plow evil and those who sow trouble repeat it. That's what they reap. Those who plow trouble and those who sow evil reap it. At the breath of God they perish. At the blast of his anger they are no longer. And the lions may roar and growl, yet the teeth of the great lions are broken. The lion perishes for lack of prey, and the cubs of the lioness are scattered. A word was secretly brought to me. My ears caught a whisper of it. Amid dis disquieting dreams in the night, when deep sleep falls on people, fear and trembling seizes me and made my all my bones shake a spirit guided past my face and the hair on my body stood on end i stopped and it stopped but i could not tell what it was a form stood before my eyes and i heard a hushed voice can a mortal be more righteous than a god can even a strong man be more pure than his maker? If God places no trust in his servants, and if his charges his angels with error, how much more are those who live in houses of clay, whose foundations are in the dust, who are crushed more readily than a moth between dawn and dust, they are broken to pieces. Unnoticed, they perish forever. Are not the cords of their tent pulled up so that they die without wisdom? Okay, hey, that was Job 3 through 4. Now we're going to uh, turn over into Acts 7 44. Our ancestors had the tabernacle of the covenant law with them in the wilderness. It had been made as God directed Moses, according to the pattern he had seen. After receiving the tabernacle, our ancestors under Joshua brought it with them. When they took the land from the nations, God drove out before them. It remained in that land until the time of David who enjoyed God's favor and asked that he might provide a dwelling place for the God of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him, and however the Most High does not live in houses made by human hands. As the prophet says, Heaven is my throne, and the earth my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me? says the Lord, or where will my resting place be? Has not my hand made all these things? You stiff-necked people, your hearts and ears are still uncircumcised. You are just like your ancestors. You always resist the Holy Spirit. Was there ever a prophet your ancestors did not persecute? And they even killed those who predicted the coming of the righteous one, and now you have betrayed and murdered him. You, who have received the law that was given through angels, but have not obeyed it. The Stoning of Stephen When the members of the Shahendravin heard this, they were furious, and they gnashed their teeth at him. But Stephen full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. 
Look, he said, I see heaven open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this they covered their ears, and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed at him, dragging him out of the city, and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. And while they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. And that was that. And that was Acts 7, 44 through 70. Which concludes the Bible with Bristow 2023 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Job 5 through 7 and Acts 8 1 through 25. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the Bible with Bristow 2023. Father, I just thank you so very much for your word. Because for not being your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of a word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Goodbye, God bless you, and please like and share.